Today we're going to start coloring the background of our tree silhouettes. Now remember, a silhouette is a dark object against a brightly lit background. We're most likely to see these at sunset and sunrise. When we color today, we're going to focus on the white area, which is the background. This is also called the negative space. Remember, negative space is the area in or around an object, but not the actual object itself. In this work of art, the negative space is represented by the white, while the positive space is represented by the black. The positive space is the actual object or shapes within an artwork. When we color today, we're not going to use just any colors. We're going to be blending warm with warm and cool with cool. Let's talk about what that means. This is a color wheel. You can see that on one side we have the cool colors and on the other side we have the warm colors. Warm colors remind us of things that are hot. The warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, and then any variation like pink or peach. The cool colors are green, blue, and purple, and that would include any other variations such as turquoise, mint, and lavender. When we color today, we will be coloring in the white areas of negative space using warm with warm colors and cool with cool colors. Now, let's stop and think. What are some warm with warm or cool with cool color combinations that you could use? Because white, black, gray, and brown are not on the color wheel, we will not be using them today. Because some colors turn out differently than they appear on the wrapper, it's a good idea to try them on the back of your artwork or a scrap sheet of paper. Now, there are different ways that you can blend today. One is to go around the edges and blend into a new color in the center. Another might be to go from top to bottom from one color to another, and another option is to go from side to side. Whichever option you choose, make sure to have a placemat or scrap sheet of paper underneath to protect the surface that you're working on. Now let's talk about blending colors. To blend colors, we're going to work in layers. First, you'll put down a layer where you press down really hard on your crayon to get it nice and solid. After that, you'll put your second layer. For the second layer, you want to lighten the pressure so that you only get a little bit of color to go off onto the paper. And that's because when we get our second color, we will have what's called a blending or what I might call a merge area. The merge area is where those two colors overlap. If you press down too hard with the first color, we won't see the second color and we really want those two colors to both show through and create a new color. So you'll put down your first color hard, then add a light layer, then take your second color, overlap and swirl where the two colors meet, and then press down really hard with the final layer of the second color. So now you can see I have red, orange and red orange where the two colors meet. Since I did a warm color combination, I'm going to do a cool color combination next to it to add a sense of balance. When I blended the red and orange, I went from the outside in. This time I'm going from top to bottom. Here I'm combining a lighter and darker version of the same color. I have a light pink and a dark pink. Both are warm colors. Now that we've talked about how to blend, let's talk about how not to blend. We're not just using two colors, we're blending two colors. Forget, we're not just blending any colors, we're blending warm with warm and cool with cool. And finally, the two colors should only be overlapping in the middle.
because the bottom two sections are so large, you can include up to three or four colors. Just keep in mind, you have to be combining warm with warm or cool with cool. Remember, any area where two colors are going to meet, you're not going to press down as hard and you're going to go in multiple directions to make it look nice and even for a smooth transition. Now it's your turn. Remember, we're blending in the negative space using warm with warm and cool with cool colors.